So today on BK Sport, we are here back at ANZ Stadium in Suba. I'm pretty sure we're always here, and it's very windy, so I don't even know if you can hear me right now. Today we are here for the Oceana Rugby Sevens. Now this is basically like the pre, it's like a pre kind of warm up to the Sevens tournament that's starting in a couple of weeks time in Dubai. And basically there's a lot of teams here that you may not know of. I'm gonna go down over here, it's actually starting to rain. So if it starts to rain a little bit more, I'm gonna go back into the grandstand. Haven't done a Sevens tournament before. We're gonna be doing a lot of Sevens stuff this season because I'm really excited for it. I'm really excited for it, and especially the Everyone here goes nuts for seven, so this is definitely going to be a focal point over the next coming months because I'm just looking forward to Dubai, looking forward to Cape Town. As you can see behind me, there is the women's sevens on as well, which they're making a real focal point of this year. Not as many teams just yet, but there will be. That's the thing. It will grow. But the Oceana Rugby Sevens, you guys may not know about. <laughs> of course, it's got the teams in the Oceana. We all understand that. You may not know places like New Caledonia, Solomon Islands, Cook Islands. So they're the types of teams that you're going to be seeing in today's matches and tomorrow's matches because this is day one. So this is like the group stage of the tournament and then tomorrow is the finals, which is going to be just massive. But at the moment, there isn't that much of a huge crowd because it is Friday, it is still school day, still work day, and it's the group stages. So although I find it exciting, a lot of people, these people find it exciting, it's mainly a day when all the school kids are coming down and having a, a, enjoying the games and, and watching it and really getting into it. I've seen some, some kids, some school kids, really getting into some of this action. That's the main thing, but tomorrow's going to be absolutely packed. Just seeing up there, 56 mils of the Papua New Guinea women over Tahiti. So let's go sit down, let's go chill out, and then we'll talk a little bit more. He's away, no one is catching him, no one's catching him, son. See you later. Oh, on the full time whistle too. Whistle siren, I don't know, but take it as you see it. Put it down, son, what are you doing? Too easy. Oh, no! Oh, he didn't take it down! Oh! Oh, he's got it, hasn't he? I don't know. Oh, he's got it! These guys are going crazy! They're going go for Americans tomorrow! These guys are going crazy! <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, Dead set, some big chicken from Tonga. Like some big chicken from Tonga. Just like set up an amazing dry and everyone just went nuts. <laughs> like, it wasn't what a BG, but everyone just, just went nuts. That's, that was a cracker. Oh, jeez. That's dodgy. <laughs> Tell you what, so I've gone to the other side now. So basically, I was on the grandstand. So whenever I come here, I sit over in the grandstand because it's just it's got actual seats compared to over here in the embankment, which is like cement <laughs> and there's grass over there. But the same time, it is so much cooler over here, and I was feeling so fast over there. It was so hot and oh, I'm so bad. I am so bad. This is only day one. I still have to come back tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be so exciting, man. Tomorrow's gonna be so exciting. But today, today's good because obviously you get to see all the the smaller teams get to play. But in the same sense, it's not final footy. It's not. Um, it's, it's, it doesn't really mean too much because we know who's gonna make the final. We know it's gonna be Fiji. We know it's gonna be Australia, New Zealand, Samoa. You know, we know who the, the big teams are in the uh, in Oceania. So that's the thing. We know who's gonna make tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be exciting. As well, because it's Saturday. There is a. <laughs> Every time this big chick gets this ball, I'm, I'm not too sure which team she plays for. I think it might be New Caledonia. No, it's not New Caledonia. It's. I think it could be Tonga, I'm not too sure. But every time she gets the ball, everyone just, <laughs> everyone cracks up. It's so funny. Yeah, I'm so happy over here. It is so much cooler. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind right now, but uh, geez, it is so much cooler over here. It was so hot over there. It was so hot. 
Too easy. See you later, son. Yeah, <laughs> step like. What a step. He just pumped him, son. He just absolutely pumped him. <laughs> Okay, so I'm here with a couple of the Nauru boys. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce that right, boys, but uh, giving it my best shot. How do you actually pronounce it? Nauru. Nauru? Oh, right, I yeah. did get it right. Okay, there you go. I'm here with Yoshi and Dama. What do you reckon of the tournament so far? You must be pretty ecstatic to, to play for the team. Yeah, it's, it, it's been great. Um, well, we, we got the chance to play against the, one of the best teams in New Zealand. Yeah. Um, they smashed us though, but it was still a great experience. <laughs> but are you, are you going one more game there? Um, it depends tomorrow. Oh, okay. We might have one more game. So how do you think of your performance? Like, obviously, you said you got smashed, but in the same sense, do you guys think that you did well considering New Zealand are one of the best teams in the tournament? We, well, that's what we thought. We thought we did well. Our first game was crappy um, against Cook Islands, but against New Zealand, we actually thought we did alright, yeah. considering we were facing one of the best teams in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah, one of, uh, this is actually the biggest competition that we've the team that always attended. We're still learning the look can say right now. One day, well Fiji obviously was learning way back, but in the same sense, they were still at the stage you guys are at now. So you guys are just gonna continue to grow and maybe you might be the next Fiji, the, the uh, seventh tournament, you reckon? <laughs> I don't know about that, hopes are high. Keep the hopes up, man. <laughs> Keep the hopes up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Too easy. Jeez. Oh. Bang, Cook Islands. About midway through the day, I'm not even too sure when this, this seventh, the, the day one finishes. I'm here with Bill and John, two Fiji boys. Who do you reckon of the day so far? Who do you think's been the best team so far? Uh, for the men, uh, I think Fiji, and yeah, for the women, Australia. Oh, I thought you were about to say Fiji, Fiji, just because you're Fiji. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way they play. Yeah. They're structured and everything. Yeah. Probably the best out of the team so far. Yeah, I'm going with New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the men's or the women's? No, women's. Yeah. Maybe New Zealand because they have most of the best players like Kim Nelson. Yeah. So, uh, what do you guys think about the upcoming 7th tournament? The uh, first off, it's in Dubai, obviously last year. Even though Fiji did come second, it was a little bit underwhelming because there's a new coach, new players. What do you think of the new season? Uh, I think it's going to be a tough one because of the uh, because Fiji has uh, most new players. Uh, the experience players can come up in help the new ones that they can take it through. Yeah. What do you guys think about South Africa? You think they're the biggest threat? Or? Oh yeah, South Africa is the biggest threat. <laughs> <laughs> Australia's good. I was, about, I was about to say, you reckon Australia's good chance? <laughs> yeah, they've been Fiji in the last few tournaments, I heard. The thing is though, is that Australia and Fiji have this thing where like yeah. Australia can beat Fiji, but yeah, Australia but can't win the actual tournament. It's really strange. <laughs> so, I'm not too sure, but uh, I don't know, us Australians, we just do big. <laughs> Like it, please give it a big thumbs up so I know that you're enjoying this content. I'm tired, it is hot, I am sweaty, and I need to have a bloody shower. The reason why I didn't film an outro when I was at the stadium is because I'm staying at my family's house in Suva, and this is the first time that I've actually driven from the stadium there by myself, and I didn't want to get lost because, you know, it wouldn't be good. But to put it simply, today was so good, man. It was so good, so hot, don't get me wrong. It was so hot, so glary. I don't know why, it was just like, I don't know, the glare. It was really glary. So, like, I really, I don't know, I'm really tan now. I'm becoming Fiji, and look at me, and look at me, I ain't becoming Fiji with all this tan. It's a long day, but it was definitely enjoyable, and I'm so excited for tomorrow. Today was the group stage. It was, it was exciting, but it wasn't exciting. It wasn't through the room. I tell you what, Samoans though. I tell you what, Samoans like they they were wild today. But anyway, guys, like I said, that is it for today's video. Don't forget to go and hit that like button 
once you hit that, you've also got to go and click the subscribe button because you just liked it, of course. So go and click the subscribe button so you get more of this content that you just like. And wait, there is more. Once you hit the subscribe button, go and hit the little ding ling ling notification bell because obviously you just like to just subscribe for more of this content. So go and hit the notification bell and you'll get a notification every time Fake House Port uploads a video, which is obviously tomorrow. What better time? But anyway, guys, that's it for now. See you tomorrow for finals of action. Catch you later.